Good morning, folks. Good morning, family. It's Raymond X, the Prophet again, and it's 8.53 a.m. on January 15, 2020, on a Wednesday morning. 8.53 a.m., January 15, 2020, Wednesday morning. Hope everyone is having a great, blessed day, a sump day today, and I'm going to do the Word today, Part 1, for January 11, 2020. This is the Word today, Part 1, January 11, 2020. So let's go ahead and get started. On January 10, 2020, at 0800 a.m. on my Bible at my phone. I receive a Bible verse on my phone every day at 0800. So this is 1 John 3 1. And let's see what 1 John 3 1 has to say. Okay, 1 John 3 and 1. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore the world does not know us, because it did not know Him. Okay, later on that evening at 7.41 p.m., the word of the Lord comes to me once again on January 10th, 2020. He gives and takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He gives and takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is also a song. I'll post that in the description box below when I get a chance and type up these text files. Job chapter 1 verse 21 states this. Job chapter 1 verse 21. This is Job speaking. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb. And naked shall return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In verse 22 it says, And all this Job did not sin, nor charge God with wrong. Okay, folks and family, the next entry in my journal at 7.43 p.m., January 10th, 2020, as I listen to these worship songs on Spotify. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. This is found in these two books of the Bible, actually two Gospels, Matthew chapter 10 verses 34 through 39, and the Gospel of Luke chapter 12 verses 49 through 53. So let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 10 verses 34 through 39. Matthew 10:34 through 39. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Okay, the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 49 through 53. Luke 12, 49 through 53. I came to send fire on the earth, and how I wish it, was already, it were already kindled. But I, have but, I have a but I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am till it's, accompl till it's accomplished. Do you suppose I came to gain peace on earth? I tell you, not at all, but rather division. From now on, five and one house will be divided, three against two and two against three. Father will be divided against son and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Okay, folks, at 7.44 p.m., January 10, 2020, the next entry in my journal, the word of the Lord comes to me once again, saying thus, Peter denied the Lord Jesus three times before the cock crowed. Peter denied the Lord Jesus three times before the cock crowed. It's found in these passages of the Bible, Matthew chapter 26, verses 31 through 35, and also Matthew chapter 26, verses 69 through 75. Also, the book of Mark, chapter 47, 27 through 31, those verses, as well as verses 66 through 72. And finally, Luke, chapter 22, verses 31 through 34, and 54 through 62. So let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 31 through 35. Matthew 26, 31 through 35. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written... I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered and said to him, Even if you all are made to stumble, because of you, I will never be made to stumble. Jesus said to him, Surely I say to you that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Matthew chapter 26, verses 69 through 75. Matthew 26, verses 69 through 75. Now Peter sat outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him, saying, 
you also were with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied it before them, saying, before them all, saying, I do not know what you are saying. And when he had gone out to the gateway, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This fellow also was Jesus of Nazareth. But he again denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And later, a little later, those who stood by came up and said to Peter, Surely you are also one of them, for your speech betrays you. They began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus who had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So he went out and wept bitterly. Mark chapter 14, verses 27 through 31. Mark 14, verses 27 through 31. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even if all are made to stumble, yet I will not be. Jesus said to him, Surely I say to you that today, even this night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. When he spoke more vividly, If I have to die of you, I will not deny you. And they all said likewise. Mark chapter 14, verses 66 through 72. Mark 14, 66 through 72. Now as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came, and when he saw Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are saying. And he went out on the porch, and the rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him again, and said, began to say those who stood by, This is one of them, but he denied it again. A little later those who stood by said to Peter again, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech shows it. They began to curse and swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. A second time the rooster crowed. Then Peter called to mind the word of Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And when he had thought about it, he wept. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 through 34. Luke 22, verses 31 through 34. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. But he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both prison and the death. And he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will shall not crow this day before you will deny me three times that you know me. Luke chapter 22, verses 54 through 62. Luke 22, verses 54 through 62. Having arrested him, they led him and brought him into the high priest's house. But Peter followed the distance. Now when they had kindled the fire in the midst of the country courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them, and a certain servant girl, seeing him as he sat by the fire, looked intently on him and said, This man was also with him. But he denied him, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And after a little while another saw him and said, You are also of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. And after about an hour passed, another confidently affirmed, saying, Surely this fellow also was him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. And immediately while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. Okay, the Spotify song I was listening to when I got these messages is called Evergreen Reimagined. Evergreen Reimagined. This is by Amanda Lindsay Cook. So I'll post a Spotify web app link in the description box below. Also this YouTube link to that song so you can listen to it. The next entry in my journal at 7.46 p.m. January 10th, 2020. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. This is also a song so when I find that song, I'll also post that in the description box below as well. This is found in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 1 through 4. 2 Samuel 22, verses 1 through 4. Then David spoke to the Lord the words of this song on the day when the Lord had delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from my enemies. Psalm 18, verses 1 through 3. Psalm 18, 1 through 3. I will love you, O Lord, my strength, the Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer. 
my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Psalm 27, verse 1. Psalm 27 and 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 61, verses 1 through 4. The 61st Psalm, verses 1 through 4. Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. Salah. Psalm 144, verses 1 and 2. The 144th Psalm, verses 1 and 2. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, my loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and the one in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. 747 p.m. January 1st, January 10th, 2020. 747 p.m. January 10th, 2020. The word of the Lord comes to me once again. You are the living water that refreshes and restores souls. You are the living water that refreshes and restores souls. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 25. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 13 through 15. The book of John, chapter, 30, uh, chapter 7, verse 37. And the book of John, chapter 7, verse 39. Actually, John, chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. Revelation 21 and 6. Isaiah 44 and 3, Jeremiah 2 and 13, Revelation chapter 22 verses 1 and 17, Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3, Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11, Isaiah chapter 41 verses 17 through 18, and Revelation chapter 7 verses 16 through 17. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 25. Jeremiah 31 and 25, For I have saturated the weary soul and I had replenished every sorrowful soul. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 13 through 15. John 4, 13 through 15. Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into an everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water. They may not thirst, nor come, nor come here to draw. Once again, the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. John 7, 37 through 39. On the last day, that great, the, that, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the Scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing him will receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Revelation chapter 21, verse 6. Revelation 21 and 6. And he said to me, It is done. I am Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give the fountain of the water life freely to him who thirsts. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty, and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. Jeremiah 2 and 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of the living waters, and heathen themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 and 17. Revelation 22 and 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Revelation 22 and 17 And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3 Isaiah 12 and 3 Therefore with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11 Isaiah 58 and 11. 
Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11 says, The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Isaiah chapter 41 verses 17 and 18. Isaiah 41, 17 and 18. The poor and needy seek water, but there is none. Their tongues fail for thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers and desolate heights, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. Revelation chapter 7, verses 16 through 17. Revelation 7. 16 and 17. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Okay, folks and family. Okay, folks and family. Finally, the last entry in my journal, 7:48 p.m., January 10th, 2020. I shall not fear the arrow by day nor the nor the terror by night. For you are with me. I shall not fear the arrow by day, nor the terror by night, for you are with me. This is found in the 91st Psalm, verses 5 and 6. Psalm 91, 5 and 6. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Okay, for you Spotify account holders, the song I have for you during the worship during those messages is a song you by darian gonzalez the song is called you by darian gonzalez so i'll post a link to that uh, song in the description box below also this youtube link to that song as well okay folks and family that's all i have for today for the word for day part one january 11 2020 this once again this is the word for day part one January 11, 2020. Everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. God bless you in everything you do. Remember, Jesus is coming very, very soon. Also remember, judgment is coming too. The Lord reminded me to tell you this. Judgment is coming. He told me to tell them, judgment is coming. Judgment is coming soon as well. So get ready for the return of Jesus Christ. Make Him your personal Lord and Savior today. Because today is your day of salvation. Your day of decision making. Okay, folks. God loves you. So do I. Take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you on the next video upload for part two of this series. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Bye-bye for now.